Hello YouTube. This is a little video that I wanted to throw together. Since my Tomica Limited Vintage Collection grew in size by 35% last weekend, I thought I would just uh, show some of what I have. Actually, this is all of what I have for TLV. Such a cool brand. You know, not all the cars are super desirable, you know, like 1985 Toyota Corona or an old Toyota Cel uh, Corolla or a Mazda Luce. But then you have other cars like this Toyota Supra that might be a little bit more desirable. The legacy might be a little bit more desirable. Or the Galat. Or even more so, cars like this. 260Z. Or the Mazda RX-7. Which we have in three colors. Or the Honda Civic. For all the station wagon enthusiasts, this one is a must have. Old Toyota Crown. There's a newer Toyota Crown sedan. And then a lot of people like these 1989 Toyota Corollas. So it's a pretty cool brand. I, I love the brand. The quality is just as good as it gets. Um, a few more over here. Another Mazda Luce. This is the Legato. So this one here predates the blue one here by probably a decade or so. And we've got another Honda. They have some Nissan Skylines. Although they're all four-door, probably not as desirable as, you know, some of the Skylines that Kyosho puts out. For example, old Toyo Pet. Here's a Datsun 510. Couple of Honda CRXs. Sorry, the lighting over here is pretty bad. Toyota Cresta. Nissan Cedric, Nissan Bluebird, Toyota Land Cruiser, Toyota Celica. Unfortunately, this is the only Celica casting that they've done. Toyota Carina. There's an older Toyota Corona. Another Skyline. Toyota Century. And the Toyota Town Ace. So there's a 1979 Toyota Corolla, 1985, might be an 83 actually, 
Honda Prelude. An old uh, Nissan Safari. Really looking forward to the green light Nissan Patrol. <clears throat> so, very, very good quality. These are all metal body, metal base construction. There are a few exceptions to that. Some of them have plastic bases, like the, uh, the, the larger castings, like the Land Cruisers, the Safari, uh, even the, <clears throat> the Celica, for some reason, has a plastic base. Not real sure why. Most of them are metal. I really, <clears throat> I hope they continue to make this late model stuff like, like these RX-7s and Civics. There's an R33 Skyline over here early 90s uh, the Supra I think is a 1985 and the Legacy I think the Legacy's late 80s or early 90s but this thing here is a gem Probably my favorite car of all of these. This 260Z. I like this Carina a lot too. I thought I'd get them all together to take a look. Definitely a fun brand. And uh, while I did just get 10 new ones in the last five days, this collection has taken me about three years to get to where it's at with a decent amount of buying and selling because I do sell these from time to time or you know like if I get a duplicate casting it's possible I may sell one of these it's possible at some point I may sell one of these although I'll never sell the black one I love that car I'll never sell the Civic. But it just depends. And uh, just purchased another one on eBay uh, yesterday. So I only have one more on the way. But, you know, at $25 a piece, they don't 
accumulate as fast as Hot Wheels. And sometimes, you know, like the Civic is going to be probably closer to the $40 price range. These are probably going to be in the 30 And then certain castings, like the Land Cruisers, are going to be 40 to 50 Um, this one here, if you can find for, if you can find this for less than a hundred, then you're doing really good. Silver Supra is probably about 50, but there are different colors of this that you can get in the $30 price range. So it really just depends. The key is to get them when they come out. So those Ferraris that are coming out, gotta get them now. Because if you don't, you're gonna spend over a hundred to get them. But it's definitely a brand worth collecting, especially if you're a detailed car collector. So thanks for watching.